Today I'm going to show you how to mix and evaluate how much concrete you need for a coping stone like this, uh, the mold I've just made earlier. So you take um, the average height from the lowest point to the highest point, the average, times it by the width and times it by the length, and this is roughly 50 litres. Um, I've made this mold, um, the, the sides come off, these sides, and the um, squeeze together with these um, clamps and then the, the ends I've got these screws going through um, and that's in here I have a oops where is it here I, I have a, a, a drywall um, butterfly if you want so that normally goes through the drywall opens up and then you can screw it in like that um, so it should be really easy. I've um, coated it with form oil here with a with a brush, um, form oil, because I'm going to use this mold about 30 times, and it will protect the wood, and also it means that the concrete won't stick to the wood when I take the mold off. Right. So let's go outside. I've already prepared. Um, so I've got, there's going to be 50 liters of aggregate. And I know it is 50 litres every time because I've got this 10 litre bucket which I fill five times. And here I've got a 5 litre tub of um, cement. I need 15 um, kilograms, so this gives me about almost, well, it gives me about 8 9 kilograms. So I fill this up almost twice and then mix it. Um, but I will show you that in a minute. So you can see I've added uh, this glass fibre which will act as a reinforcement which will prevent the coping stone from cracking. You can see the white powder over here. So now I just have to add the last bit of cement and then we can start mixing. <laughs> 